Saffron, or red gold, can cost up to 20 euros a gram. The spice is sourced from the flowers of a species of crocus that blossoms for just a few weeks a year. These fields in southern Spain have been a family-run business for centuries. It's a very delicate flower that needs to be handled with tender loving care. We harvest them in late October or early November, depending on the weather. Alternating rain and sunshine is good, but too much rain or cold can ruin the bulbs. The stigmas have to be picked by hand, making production labor-intensive. It takes 250,000 stigmas to make just one kilo of saffron, hence the high price. But you still can't make enough to live off of. Saffron is not our main source of income. It's not enough to live off of, but it does boost our budget. The harvest is a huge help, especially in times of crisis. Once the flowers have been picked, villagers are employed to separate the stigmas, quickly but carefully. They have to be fresh, with no yellow pollen attached. The final step is to roast the stigmas, which releases the 150 aromas. It's a special time of year for the locals. It unites the family. We do everything together. Families eat together at the table, and work on the harvest together. And the saffron harvest is like a celebration. Iran supplies about 90% of the saffron in the world. Spain's variety, however, matches up very well and is an export success. In fact, Castilian producers have managed to get their saffron trademarked. Counterfeit labeling is a fundamental problem for Spanish production. You often see saffron from Iran or other countries being packaged and marketed as a Spanish product. We are fighting this injustice. The Castilla-La Mancha region is famous for its wine, for its windmills, and for the fictitious character Don Quixote who charged them. The area is also home to Las Provincias, a restaurant that serves traditional Spanish fare such as paella, in which rice is dyed yellow using saffron. It's crushed by hand to retain the taste. Emma Comanero's menu includes many of her own saffron creations, both sweet and savory. There's creme brulee with saffron, or hake in a saffron sauce. For thousands of years, saffron has been used as a spice, as a dye, as a fragrance, and for medicinal purposes. These days, it's used mostly in top restaurants. It's very strong. The aroma is just as intense as the color. So only very simple dishes are suitable for saffron, with basic ingredients like cake, which is a white fish. You would never use saffron on salmon. A delicate and dear flower, where a little goes a long way. For just a few more days, it will continue to light up the fields of Castilla-La Mancha in vibrant violet.